have a look guys with respect to y parameters initially we started with z parameters and the abcd parameters so the both the parameters we was only with respect to KP. so when i start with y parameters something different in this case you have to start with ec so let's see how to solve it at the end we'll be discussing about what is the equation for y parameters the reason is that we are starting with case here because in z parameters the equation was in terms of voltage v and v but in y parameters the equation is in terms of current and so that is the reason i need to apply case here not kv so let's have a look guys in this sum first thing i need to convert everything to your laplace so l can be ls the c will be 1 upon c input plus minus Output plus minus V. This is your input current, I2. So your I2. This is your output, I2. So your I2. This is going to be your I2. So after converting everything, so let's apply not EV, this is Y current. So let's see how to apply Y current. This is your voltage V1. This is your voltage V2. This and this, there is no potential difference. So even this, I can see that. But this one, there is a there is a drop in between. There is a potential difference. So this is your number. So let's apply KVL at one. So if I need to write the equation for I1, my I1 is starting at V1 and V1. So what is the force form? V is equal to I R. I is equal to V M R. So write the equation for I1, my So I1 will be Starting minus ending with V1 minus V2 upon this two. So I have I1 will be V1 minus V2 upon 2 by this. Split it, simplify to the equation for I1 equal this. But your y parameter says your I1 should be in terms of V1 and V2. So you don't need to. So let's apply the case here. Add For note 2, my dear friends, we have a current I2, right? So I need to apply case at this point. There are three inputs, okay? One is I2. So I need to assume the current direction for this point. So if I need to apply at note 2, so note 2 will be at a higher point. So it will be V2 minus V2. So everything I need current, right? V is equal to IR, so I is equal to V upon R. So V2 minus V upon 2 upon S. V2 minus V0 upon S. Since, as you can call the currents are moving outwards, since this current is moving inward, it is opposite to our assumption. So, we need to take it negative. So, the KCM will be my dear friend. It will be V2 minus V3 upon 2 by S. V2 minus 0 upon S. Since I2 is not following our direction because we are assuming all the currents are moving outwards, so we will take it as negative equal to zero. Sum of all current equal to zero. I need to find I2. So let's find I2 from this my dear friends. So your I2 will be equal to shift I2 if it's negative, if you shift over there it will be positive. So V2 minus V3 upon 2 upon S plus V2 minus 0 is V2 upon S. Split it, so it will be V2 upon 2 upon S minus V3 upon 2 upon S plus V2 upon S. So simplify it, my dear friends. This will be up. So it will be S upon 2 V2 plus V2 upon S minus V3 upon S upon 2 V2. So combine the root on the V2, combine. So you will be getting S upon 2 plus 1 upon S V2 minus S upon 2. So I2 will be first multiply my dear friends S square plus 2 upon 2s into V2 minus S upon 2 V2. That will be equation. So your y parameter says I need to get equation for the I2 in terms of V1 and V2. That means I don't need V3. So if I don't need V3, so I have three options. So V2, V3 should be in terms of V1. V3 either should be in terms of V2, 
either V3 should be in terms of combination of V1 and V2. So if I need to find V3, my dear friends, I need to apply J square at V3. So that we get the Y terminus. Because Y terminus is I1, V2, combination of V1, V2. I2 should be again combination of V1, V2. So I have a variable other than V1, V2, that is V3. So I need to remove that. So that should be either combination of V1, V2, or a combination of V2. So let's do it. Let's apply case here and hold V2. I hope you have drawn the net for in your book so it becomes much easier for you to understand. And what V3. So at node V3, I have three points. So if I'm at node V3, that means I'm at a higher point. So everything will be with respect to V3. V3 minus V3 minus V3 minus. Because V3 is higher point. 3 branches, so that will be getting 3 sub equations equal to everything should be in terms of current. So if you apply E is here, E is equal to IR, I is equal to E upon R. So let's apply the first thing will be V3 minus V1 upon 2 upon S. V3 minus 0 upon S. It will be V3 minus V2 upon 2 upon S equal to 0. Split my dear friends, so you will get. V3 upon 2 upon S, V1 upon 2 upon S, V3 upon S, V3 upon 2 upon S, V2 upon 2 upon S equal to 0. So keep V3 to the side and show all the variable answer because ultimately I need to find V3 my dear friends. So it will be V3 S upon 2. V3, 1 upon S, V3, S upon S. So if that's a this will be V1 upon S upon S. So plus V2 upon S upon S. Right? Simplify it. S upon to S upon this will be S plus S equal to S upon to V1 plus S upon to Simplify so this will be s square plus 1 upon s equal to s upon 2 plus s upon 2. Shave out everything that's right because I need equation of only v3 my dear friends. This part will multiply with coefficient of v1 as well as v2. Don't only multiply with v2, this is common mistake for these in examination. So please be aware of it. Okay? So let's write the equation of v3. So v3 will be equal to my dear friends s square upon 2 bracket s square plus 1 plus again s square upon 2 bracket s square plus 1 should be so this is your equation of this equation so the equation c which you draw you have to put this equation c c in equation number a and b so that you should get the value of i when in terms of v and the value of I could in terms of V. So let's go with the equation number A. The equation number A which I got is I1 is equal to S upon 2 V1 minus S upon 2 V2. So your I1 will be S upon 2 V1 minus S upon 2. So put the value of V3 my dear friends. So value will be getting S square upon 2 bracket S square plus 1 V1. Plus s square upon 2 into v. So let's simplify this term. After simplification, so you should get the value of i1 in terms of i v1 and v2. So multiply the term, multiply the term and open the bracket. Let's have a look of have a look of i1 in terms of v1 and v2. So the term will be s upon 2 v1 bracket this will be s q upon 2 will be remaining 4 s square plus 1 v1 minus 2 plus this will be minus s q upon 4 bracket s square plus 1 into v2. So combine a term we will get it. So now guys let's have a look for the further steps. Yeah, I will. Simplify your i1 in terms of v1 and v2. 
simplify whether to take a P1, P2 common. So the equation which you get after simplification is this equation. So I wanted I1 in terms of E1, P2. We got I wanted similarly you need to solve I2 in terms of E1, P2. So this part you just need to solve on your own and compare your answers. Just put the weekly equation in equation number 2, you will get the i in terms of weekly. And the point is that, my dear friends, what is the equation for y parameter? So let's have a look. For y parameter, my equation, my equation is in terms of current i1, i2. So you have four parameters v1, v2, i1, i2. If i1, i2 is gone, which term is remaining? Very nice. v1, v2. Perfect. That means over here it will be v1. P2, P1, P2. This sign will be positive. Your negative sign only comes in if So, over here, you'll be getting y, 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 y. Y parameter. 2 by 2 matrix. 1, 1, 1, 2, 2, 1, 2. That means I need equation of I1 in terms of V1, I2 in terms of V1. If I get the equation of I1, in terms of V1, I got the value for Y11 and Y12. So let's do it. So the equation of I1, which I got from V1, this is nothing but my Y11, and this is my Y12. Given negative side, I have to consider because your I1 has a positive side. So that is negative, the part of Y1. Don't forget to write that negative part. So your sum will go down. Again, I got the equation of Y2 in terms of V1, so this will be my Y21. So we y So put down the, all the values in your 2 by 2 matrix. This you should be getting. So after getting the answer, your last step is go units. So when I say an infinite, all terms will be equal. So when I say y, y is nothing but inverse of infinite. So that is all the units will be O. So all the units will be from y112, y So Please guys keep practicing it. Remember one thing, Z parameters, ABCD parameters. For both the cases, start with KP. Things is very easier with KP. Okay? I hope you're getting that. For ABCD, again you have to solve Z parameters. By using Z parameters, you have to get the value for ABCD. But when I talk about type 3, Y parameters, you have to only solve by using KC. Because by KC, yourself becomes much easier. KCL, you have to apply by whole. Remember Ohm's law, E is equal to IR, I is equal to P by R. So apply that method, you should get I1 in terms of V1, V2, I2 in terms of V1. By comparing with the standard equation, so you should get Y11, Y12, Y21, Y2. Since all the four are unit is O, your unit is O is nothing but your infinite. So keep practicing it, guys. Best of luck. Signing up, let's have for type 4, which is nothing but your hybrid parameters. Again, your hybrid parameters will be 90% similar to Y parameter. That means it itself says even in hybrid you have to apply KCL. So, I will be taking the same sum. So, let's solve hybrid in that. So, let's see what happens in hybrid parameters. Thank you so much. Signing off.